Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little experiment that I want to do because um, I have all these very wonderful IBM 3650s X3650 model 1 they all have 6 3.5 inches hard drives here on the front and they are all limited to using 2 terabyte disks that's the RAID controller's fault inside the server so I want to show you that so let's go into the server and um, I'll show you the RAID controller and I'll tell you what it is that I'm up to over here is the RAID controller and in this server it's kind of a tiny little thing let's go closer some of it is on the system board and some of it is in an expansion there is this little battery lithium ion battery right there that is connected to this thing and this is part oh that's out of focus and this is part of the rate controller that is on the system board you can see the connector is right here oh it's not very visible but it goes down to the system board there so that's where the discs are connected here is the SAS connector the server comes with one with less features than this one it does not have a battery this one is able to do RAID 5 and the one that uh, ship with the cheap ones or was shipped with the cheap ones that could only do the rate 0 and rate 1 and rate 10 I think and this rate controller is only able to do 2 terabyte disks so I wanted to try and exchange that rate controller with something else something that can do over 2 terabytes of disks this is a bit of a weird setup because over here in front of the server is the hard drives and there are six bays but only one connection normally a connector like this is good for four drives and in this case it's good for six drives that's a bit hard but well i wanted to play with that and see if i can actually put in bigger drives in this server which i found out is kind of a problem because i don't have very many big drives here i actually only have one so that's a bit of a fail but we'll get to that so here is the back plane of the six drives here three and a half inch drives in front of the server only one cable is going into those so this electronic and this processor here must be doing something to um, to fix that that's going to be interesting to see if I, if I can change that to another rate controller without this not working and here is the front of the server and I only have one drive in right now and it is a SAS drive so 300 gigabyte SAS drive so I have five bays not occupied and back in there is the is the back plane I was hoping to put in this rate controller this is uh, the standard cheap rate controller that the, the IBM X3650 model 2 came with it's a BR10i and it's it can control eight SAS drives but I just read online that it's limited to also two terabytes or actually 2.2 terabyte so this wouldn't get me very far so I'm, I'm probably not gonna try that it's a real shame because these are really cheap and I do have a couple of them laying around so instead I went and I took this out of another server and this is one of the really expensive ones this one is a it doesn't say but I do believe this is an M5015 and this comes out of an IBM X3650 model 3 so I'm gonna try and put this in and we're gonna put that cable in one of these ports and see if if I'm still able to boot the server how that will work I really thought this connector was not long enough for this task uh, so I actually bought some longer ones but I've actually found that this should be long enough which um, is a bit of a surprise and we can put in this card here um, I'm gonna 
be careful. There's a there's a battery on this card, and I don't want to short circuit anything. Let's see. We needed to put it on this side, so I'll take out this thing. Put that over there. Put the card in. I don't really have this thing for it, so uh, I have to put it in very loosely. So um, be careful. This is quite an expensive car. Do need to see which connectors it should go into. Let's see. We have we have two connectors here, and it seems like this is number one. No, it seems like this is number one, and this is number two. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this one. See what happens. That's also the closest one to the cable, so. That should be good. That. Let's figure out how the cable goes. And it's not long enough. Okay. Um, it was long enough for this card because the connectors is all the way back there. But on the good card. The connectors is over here, so they are not long enough. So that's a problem. So I have to exchange that cable. So freshly off the boat from China, new cables. SAS mini SAS cable something. Um, it's gonna be very exciting to see if, if they will work. I'm probably just gonna need one. Let's see if there's if it's not any longer, it's not gonna help anything. Yeah, this is way longer. So. It uh, does kind of look the same. Uh, let's hope it, it works the same. We will try and connect that, boot that, see what happens. I have connected the server to power and also this screen and keyboard. Uh, I thought it was a good idea to use this server because I could work on this, not getting up too high. But Well, now I run into the problem that the screen will be in the way, but well, we don't really have to watch the server, we just need to watch the screen right now. So I'm just gonna power on the server and we'll see what it comes up with. It is booting. Oh, it's complaining about a lot of other stuff. Oh, that's irritating. I think that's the old one. Let's see if the new one shows up. The old RAID controller, which is the server RAID 8K. No logical drives found. There is the new controller. And we will have to press C. To load the configuration utility. Press Y to continue and we will be able to get into the it's gonna be interesting. Okay, it's complaining about different stuff. Let's see if any of this is important. Okay, it's not finding anything on the the built-in rate controller so that's one of its complaint then there is probably the system memory prop i think we'll try and disable that disable the sas controller on the board Let's see if there's anything else uh, it's probably okay we'll escape and let's save settings and exit setup. Yes. Let's see if that does anything for our progress. 16 gigabytes of memory in this server. 
complaining about some of the memory so some of it is um, teasing me wake controller I wonder if I get the option of going in and configuring it initializing device oh apparently it's just smashing my hard drive right now that was not intentionally let's see all drive from the previous are gone if there is any unexpressed press any key to continue to load the configuration okay in this state will result in drive configuration press okay why web bias will execute after and we are in um, except the mouse doesn't work okay external mouse installed check so let's press start and see it sees my 300 gigabyte unconfigured good disk right there that's awesome um, so so far so good and it's connected to port 0 to 3 so that's the first port in there so that should be good so I want to try actually my mouse pad here is the disc that I want to try with and um, this is a disc that has been taken out of a server where it did not work and it's kind of the only 3 terabyte disc that I have around right now it has been taken out of a Lenovo X3650 model 4 and I want to see if I can um, put that in here so uh, let's uh, let's try that I'm gonna try and put it in here and I've seen some pictures where this just works in here so I'm just gonna try that see if that's correct doesn't seem like that it want to go in there no I'll have to exchange the bay there we are and this is a western digital drive it's a really expensive high-end one it might be broken but let's put it in and see what happens now it is two but it sees it as a two terabyte and that was exactly what i didn't want i wanted it to see it as a three terabyte drive it doesn't like this drive but it should really show up as a three terabyte drive so the max speed of this drive is six gigabit per second and the link speed is 1.5 gigabits per second so yeah we're not um, reaching the maximum potential in this setup as you can see here the bias of this thing is um, a bit outdated so i'm gonna see if i can update that uh, i'm not sure if that's gonna help anything but i'm gonna try that so right now i'm trying to firmware update this card i had to move the card over into another server right now it's in this one and I'm running IBM or Lenovo update on that one and yes it has found that this card is uh, pretty old so it's gonna try and update that from a version 12.01 to a 12.15.0 um, hopefully that will go well it's gonna do that in 22 seconds if I don't do anything but um, I'm gonna let it do its thing and see what happens okay I got the card upgraded to a, some extent this is firmware version 12.12.0 um, I got a fail when I tried to upgrade it to the latest version so I have to upgrade it in, in steps to kind of get this up and running so uh, so far so good so I will load the a newer IBM update express and try it again this is back in 2013 I think okay we're at the last lake now upgrading it to 12.15.0 right now it's at 12.13.0 so hopefully this will be good and the rate controller will be fully updated 
Okay, it's updated, it's all good. I'm gonna be moving the carts around now. So now the cart can go back in. I didn't tidy up this too much. I knew I was gonna take everything apart again, so. I'm booting it again. Still has memory problems. Lots of memory problems. One, two, three pair of memories are teasing me. Should probably just have started fixing that because it gets really irritating looking at it. Just there. So now it's loading the old rate controller. I disabled it in the BIOS at some point, but I have enabled it again because I had problem booting the server um, it helped absolutely nothing but well I tried it and here we have the new rate controller I'm gonna press F to import foreign configuration press any key and I do believe that it will throw us in there to configure it there we can press uh, control H to go into the web BIOS the this mouse is still fucked. And the firmware is now, I think that's a lot newer. Yes, yes. Okay, so now we have three terabytes of data on this drive. So a bit of firmware updating and it now sees three terabytes. That's awesome. It's still complaining about this hard drive being a lot better than the controller, but it actually sees three terabytes in this server now. Um, another thing that I'm curious about is if it's able to use all six drives. So I think I'll just pop in some drives and we'll see that. Here we are. The first one is the original 300 gigabytes. This one is the three terabyte, and the four down here are 300 gigabyte drives. So we're gonna see if it sees those. Gonna do a disk scan here. Scan device. And it does. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of awesome. So this was a success. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and everything was thanks to a cable like this. Something that I picked up. It wasn't expensive at all. I'll leave a link in the description somewhere. Also, it does need a rather expensive rate card. The M5015 is not a cheap card. I think I've seen that they go around $130 on eBay slash Amazon. I'll try and find some links to those as well. But overall, this was a huge success. This old beast, which was before this, only able to do 12 terabytes of data, I would now guess that it will be able to do 3 or 4 terabyte drives. 24 terabytes in a server like that would be awesome, even though I've only tried with this 3 terabyte drive. So let's just, until further notice, let's just say that at least a 3 terabyte drive is good in it. And I'll have to test again with a 4 terabyte drive when that one comes along. I don't have any laying around at the moment so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye